what if you look at your goals and you know you should be happy with what you accomplished, but you still feel like you didn't do shit? How do you measure when you're just being too hard on yourself versus like, okay, you really didn't do shit? For me personally, and it, it could be different for, for different people, but for one, I'm the one that's in control of my mindset, my goals, whether I'm feeling like I'm accomplishing, whether I feel like I'm, I'm not. And if I feel like I'm not, I start to do more. And I'm okay with that. To Bernard's point, there's always gonna, gonna be somebody that feels like you're doing the most, but then there's gonna be people who feel like you're not doing you know, half is what they're doing. For me, I control how I feel on it. For example, the goal, the original goal, especially as, as this virus started to, to come about, was just selling 60 homes a year. And guess what? Hit 60 in the summer and had to change that. It wasn't a matter of like, oh, I hit the goal and I feel accomplished. It was just like, nah, 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 I'm not gonna go down like that, you know, like. <laughs> Even though that that was the original goal and something about me is if I'm getting the feeling that the goal isn't big enough or it's not uncomfortable enough, I adjust it because that's how I get to feel satisfied at the end of it once it's it's reached. It's it's nobody else's standards. It's nobody's anything. Carol, if you feel like you're BSing or if you feel like you're you're not doing the most, change it. Change it up. Make it bigger. I mean, make it to make you feel more uncomfortable. 